Hi everyone, this is Julie Gavin, and today I'm going to share you, with you really quickly how to set your printer to be able to print a booklet. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I have a few posts up about making a family cookbook and printing and binding and cookbook covers, but I never covered how to actually print your cookbook. And the reason why was because I had issues getting my settings together and being able to share them in a coherent way. So one day I just took a lot of time and finally ironed out the settings. Now, when you see how easy it is to print as a booklet, you're gonna say, why was this so difficult? But I'm gonna explain to you why it's so difficult and things that maybe are gonna lead you astray. But before I get into that, let me just share with you, if you see any settings that are different on your computer, um, let me tell you what I'm running my system on so that you, maybe that is some of the reason why it's different. So I'm on a Microsoft, I'm sorry, I'm running Microsoft Word for Mac and I'm on iMac uh, working on op operating system Catalina. My printer that I'm using is an HP OfficeJet Pro 8720. So the settings for the printer on here might look a little bit different, but that would be why things might look slightly off now. Let me get into, I'm gonna just show you my cookbook and explain to you where possibly you could be led astray. All right, so as you're getting ready to print, there's really I have six things you have to keep in mind, six tips to keep in mind um, to avoid confusion as you go through and print. So number one, well, let me just say that I like to view my cookbook as a multiple page. So this is my preference is to see my pages side by side because that's how it's going to print and be bound. Now, if you just take your print your Word document to Kinko's or Office Max or Office Depot, whatever, they'll print it and bind it for you and they'll it'll all work out. But if you're trying to do this at home, you need to work through some of the kinks. So I view mine as a uh, multiple page and so side by side and when you're looking at your section headings so you know you have your main topics or main um, division of your cookbook which mine is breads breakfast starters sides um, that's what you can see on this page those beginning sections I want them to always be on the odd page so one first thing I will do is I will just check to make sure on my table of contents which Again, I go all into how to create your template, or you can use my blank template, but you want to make sure they start on an odd page. So I can see this one is one, my breakfast is 31, um, starters 49. So it looks like it's correct, but what you do want to do is just go, I wouldn't go to the first one necessarily, but I'm going to go to my second section heading or section division. And let me show you, let me bring that up a little bit. So you can see I... I go into why you don't see that it's breakfast, but I don't want to waste time on this video explaining that, um, but it is in my creating the cookbook template. But this is the beginning of my section, and if I scroll down, I can see the bottom of my page does say page 31, just like it did in my table of contents, which is exactly what I want. And then I also can see that it's page 39 of 224. So just verify that and make sure that those are all starting on odd number pages. The second thing you wanna do is right before you print, if you do any kind of updates at all, just make sure that you update your table of contents. And to do that, I just clicked, right clicked in my table of contents, and then you're gonna go to update field, update entire table, and say, okay. Now my cookbook is fairly big, so it takes a little minute and now I'm updated. So I can just recheck those date, those pages, make sure that there's nothing off. No. The third thing I recommend you do is when you are ready to start printing and test it out, I just recommend you maybe print one through four or one through eight. You print only a small portion of the cookbook it will not work if you print half of your cookbook. So in this case, if I printed one through uh, 112, it's going to reorder the pages differently. And so I can't really print then 113 through 224. It's not gonna work properly. So if you're trying to test it out and see, just print either one through four or one through eight if you're doing the half sheets like I'm, I'm printing as the booklet.
Okay, the next thing to tell you is that when you go in and you see your print preview, the print previews are not accurate. So they are going to mislead you. Um, or they could possibly mislead you. I'll say they misled me. So when you go in here, this is actually, this is correct, but once you get into the booklet settings, they don't look right. They're not going to they're not going to be viewed correctly. The other thing you can do, um, I'm not going to go in there just yet, but um, when you when you see that, it's just not going to look right. The other thing is when you open in a preview or you save it as a PDF, those also don't generate the booklet properly once you put in the right settings. So I'm going to show you the settings to put in, but those two or really three ways of seeing how it's going to print don't are not accurate. So don't rely on those. Um, it's just going to be harder. And that is really where I wasted a lot of my time in trying to figure this out. Now, I did forget to tell you the probably the most important thing is not to add a blank page to the front of your document. So as you view this with a multiple page view, you would want your first page to be on the right side and it would seem to make sense to add a blank page to the beginning, but it's really gonna mess all the settings up and Microsoft Word really does do an excellent job of doing of creating a booklet and printing it properly. So don't be tempted to add a blank page to the very front of your cookbook. So that is really the major, those major tips. If you just keep those in mind, I think it's gonna be easier for you to get your print printer right. Let's just go right into how to actually print. I'm gonna to go to File and Print. I just had this up, but let me just, I wanted to show that from the start. Now, this is where mine defaults to. Yours might look differently, and again, you can see my printer. I do prefer to print in draft form, black and white draft, just because I'm cheap and I like to save money and ink, so. I'll just switch that setting to draft. You do however you want to. Okay, the next setting that you want to go to is you want to go to layout. When you get into layout, what you're going to see is just one page, long edge binding on the left for my two-sided printing. So I'm changing my two-sided over to a booklet. And now it's going to show me one, two, you know, that half page, uh, four pages really per sheet. And this left-sided binding can be kind of confusing. Don't worry about this. This is, just ignore it. <laughs> it's, it, it. If you tell a booklet, it already knows what to do. Now the other thing to notice is the layout direction. You're just gonna leave this how it defaults and it defaults to this one on the left. So let it remain there. And the next setting, which is super important, is to reverse page orientation. You have to check that if you don't, it is not going to uh, correctly do the reverse side of the page. And then you print. I mean, guys, honestly, it's kind of embarrassing that I had, for real, it took me several hours because I was getting frustrated. I had a chart and I was really tracking how to do this, but that's it. Those simple settings is all you need to do to create print as a booklet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions or things that you want me to post about with the cookbook or you know other things relating to this, please let me know in the comments and you know, I invite you to subscribe if you like what I shared and if it was helpful for you, that's encouraging to me. So thank you guys again and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.